Vector equation of lines in R3. Explain why the following equations represent the same line. The equation of the line is 1, 2, 3 plus t times minus 6, 3, minus 9 and r equals to 1, 2, 3 plus t times 2, minus 1, 3. Now, do they represent the same lines? They are going through the same point and the direction numbers are given as minus 6, 3, minus 9. Here it is 2, minus 3, 1. So we observe if we multiply this by minus 3, we get that one. So since we know minus 6, 3, minus 9, or if you can divide this by 3, minus 3, you get this one. They are related. So basically, minus 3 times 2, minus 1, 3. So they are scalar multiples. So that means same direction. So we have these two lines with same direction and same point. So they are indeed representing the same line. Correct? So because of same point and same direction, they do represent the same line. Now here, the second part of the question is, a student writes point Q, which is minus 5, 5, minus 5, as Q dash, dividing each by 5, and writing this as minus 1, 1, minus 1. Explain why the vector equation of the line that passes through point P, which is 1, 2, 3, and Q, which is minus 5, 5, and minus 5, is not the same as that going through the point P and Q dash. Can you explain this why? Well, the answer is that these two points are different. So Q and Q dash are different points, right? So we have a situation here where point P is given to us and we have two different points. One is, let us say here, the other one is somewhere else, right? So if you have these points which are different, then the lines representing will also be different. So it's not the same. So you really can't divide them all and get a proportionate point on the vector scale. It will be at a different place, right? So therefore, this doesn't work out. But as far as the direction number is concerned, direction number is represented by an arrow. If we scale it, we are still on the same line, maybe smaller, but the direction remains same. Do you understand? So we can reduce this or simplify this or multiply this by any factor or scale it, but we can't scale the point as such. I hope you understand. Thank you and all the best.